evil is real. The evil one is real. Depending on the translation you read, the last line of the Lord's Prayer is either deliver us from evil or deliver us from the evil one. And it doesn't really matter which translation I read. I feel basically the same way about each one of these options. I, I read it or I say it and the thought I have in my head goes something like this. God, evil is out there and it's trying to get me. So I need you to get in the way and keep it away from me. Or I might say something like, God, the evil one is out there and he's trying to get me. So I need you to get in the way and keep him away from me. In both cases, I naturally think of this line in the prayer as a request for protection. But Jesus didn't tell us to say, protect us from evil. He told us to use the word, deliver. And the concept of deliverance is very different from the concept of protection. Protection means that whatever is out there can't affect me because I'm protected. But deliverance means that I've already been affected. Deliver is the word for when you've already lost the battle, when you already have been captured. The same word that is translated deliverance or deliver here in the Lord's Prayer is translated rescue in Matthew 27, 43. It says this, He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I'm the Son of God. That's one of the sentences that the people standing around Jesus while Jesus was hanging on the cross, that's one of the sentences they used to ridicule Jesus. That verse shows up while Jesus is literally hanging on the cross at the hands of evil and evil ones. Let God rescue him. Let God deliver him from evil. See, I think Jesus has us use the word deliver because he knows we're already surrounded by evil. We're already being affected by it. The problem is, I'm not so sure we're as aware of the evil as he wants us to be. We fall in love with the things of this world. We respect the powerful, even though they might have gotten their power by exploiting others. We admire opulence, even though opulence is always produced by people who never get to enjoy it. We gravitate to the things that confirm our biases, even if they are satanic lies. We want God to protect us from evil when Jesus reminds us that we are already immersed in it. We don't need protection. We need deliverance. And so we pray that God would help us to see evil for what it is and that he would deliver us from its power to consume us.